I was born a Raider. I was born with the Raiders rolling in the Coliseum in L.A. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten, he wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold, and the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. I'm just now starting to get over former Las Vegas Raiders head coach John Gruden inexplicably trading 2014 for his round bid Kyle Mack in 2018. Max Crosby came along in 2019 to soften the blow, but imagine having both of them coming off the edges. Raider Nation had to eventually get over Mack and start wishing the Raiders could find a few more Max Crosbys. You know, the guys that get overlooked and get picked in the mid to late rounds, no one gives him anything and he works his butt off for it and gets better every year. Next thing you know, he's a very important part of that defense, a star on that defense. It looks like Robert Spillane is that guy. He actually started off as an undrafted free agent with the Tennessee Titans. From there, he went to the Pittsburgh Steelers and played well when he played. Then he became a free agent and the Raiders got him last spring. Now he looks like the next great Raider linebacker. And along with Crosby and slot corner Nate Hobbs, he's the heartbeat of that defense, which is much improved. I guess there's three Max Crosbys. Spillane, Hobbs, and Crosby must be kindred spirits. We start with the bad. Early in the season, he had problems with missed tackles. For whatever the reason, he was just whiffing. The first six games of the season, he missed 11 tackles. That's a lot. Percentage-wise, he missed 24% of the tackles he attempted. I don't know if he was playing hurt or not, but it didn't look too good to begin the season. Running game, passing game in space, you better hope somebody else is there if he's coming up to make the tackle. But in his last six games, he's only missed one tackle for 2% of the tackles he's attempted. That's functioning at the top of the NFL right there. He's good at diagnosing the play and getting downhill to make the tackle before blockers can even get to him. He sees it and bang, he's right there. The running back has no chance on this one. That's how you attack zone blocking. You get downhill before those offensive linemen can combo off to you. Watch this. Makai Beckton's going to try to combo off and Spillane's going to already be past him. He's also good at just seeing where the running back is going and meeting him in the hole. He was going to see it, shuffle a couple of steps, and bang, he's right there. I like how he doesn't get lost in the junk and just finds the ball carrier and meets him. He doesn't over pursue either. Here he's going to be right there in the cutback lane. He was going to be patient and be right there when the running back makes his cut. Alright, maybe he takes a couple of false steps right here, but nothing too far. And he gets himself right back in the play. 
Ooh, and he can take on some blocks and get to the ball carrier. Watch this. He just bowling balled that whole play right there. He's going through the tackle to make the tackle here. Watch him take on the guard and rip through to make the play here. Watch how quickly he gets rid of the guard to make the tackle after he takes him on here. Here he does a good job of taking on the blocker with his inside shoulder and making the play with his outside arm. Again, he's going to take him on and get rid of him quickly. Now watch the technique on the rip through here. Now that's how you get rid of a blocker. He was going to rip through to get his inside shoulder in place and make it outside to the running back. Here the tight end is going to crack down on him, but he has no chance. Watch this. Take him on, rip through, tackle. Whatever Spillane does, he's not going to stay blocked. This is easy work right here. Just get rid of him and run to the ball. Spillane also has the speed to go sideline to sideline. Watch the closing burst here. Here he goes around a block and still makes it to the ball carrier. Huh. Running back ain't getting the corner on this one. He'll go get it on the bubble screen too. Here he comes underneath the guard and makes it to the ball carrier. He'll get after that quarterback too. If he tries to run, he'll be right there with them. Here he's going to close on Josh Allen as soon as he tries him. Then he's going to have to play hot potato with it. Here he's going to start off in coverage and then he's going to stop the Mahomes magic. Here he gets credit for the sack for closing on Zach Wilson and making him run out of bounds. He was going to come on a blitz and put that heat on Jared Goff. And here he gets Tommy DeVito on the blitz. He's also good in coverage. In zone with his eyes on the quarterback, he's dangerous. He's also opportunistic, so he'll get one in the tip drill. Quarterbacks need to watch him because he will step in front of one and get it. Yes, three interceptions on the air, and it should be four. Watch this. And there went four. Here he's matched up on the slot receiver and he's going to serve up the denial. 